here we are, our last little video on our communication chapter for our human relations course. And here we are talking about how to persuade others and how to sell ourselves and not in that sort of unethical, um, nasty or ugly way, but as part of being in an organization and convincing people um, to work towards common goals, to believe in your services or the products that you're selling. So we are using influencing, <laughs> we're using uh, the ability to influence and persuade in the most positive ethical sense. Uh, and that's what we are doing in organizations. We are working with others to achieve bigger and better things. And, and to be able to do that, we need to let them know and to convince them of what uh, you have in mind and your values and your goals. And so that's what we are talking about here. We are not talking about being unethical, uh, about manipulating any of those negative things. We are doing all of this uh, with the best intentions. So with that, we have three types of persuasion uh, that comes from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And so we have ethos, pathos, and logos. And so ethos, number one here, is really about credibility. So having ethos is when we are credible to the person we are communicating with. And you can be a credible person through acquiring experience, through being an expert, through acquiring education, etc. So having credibility through your experiences, education, position, title, gives you ethos and that helps you to persuade others. Then we have pathos and that's one way we can try to persuade others and that is by using emotions. And so we use the emotional aspect to try to convince, persuade the other person. And it can be things such as trying to use fear or shame or positive emotions like joy and satisfaction. So we are appealing to their emotions. Uh, and remember, we've talked a lot about emotional intelligence and empathy, and those certainly factor in here. So having higher levels of empathy and higher levels of emotional intelligence makes you more suitable perhaps to use pathos to appeal to other people's emotions. And so we're drawing on their heartstrings to convince them. With logos, it's the opposite. Here we are appealing to their reasoning. And so we are uh, maybe presenting data, we are giving a business case, we are trying to stay objective. So providing all of the reasons why in a very logical manner, why something should happen or should be done, etc. And so we are using logic in logos to appeal to the reasoning. And so these are reasons for persuading someone in a specific direction. So how do we persuade and how do we sell ourselves? And again, this is with the best intention for positive things. And so how we persuade people is to get people to like us. We smile, we are friendly, we ask questions about them, right? We use I rather than you. So we say, I feel stressed when you, I feel stressed when we cannot start the meeting on time. See how easy it's, it is to use you. I was going to give an example on the fly here and it was so quick and easy to say you. So I get stressed when we cannot start the meeting on time, etc. We should communicate using the appropriate channel. If it's a big conversation, it's probably not wise to do it over text or over email. And timing matters too. So if somebody's upset or sad or tired, might not be the best time to bring up something important. So maybe wait till people are ready to hear what it is. And we sell ourselves through pre uh, preparing and delivering elevator pitches. And of course we call them elevator pitches because an elevator ride is very quick, 30 seconds or less. And so if you meet somebody in the elevator and you want to tell them about who you are and the value you bring, you need to do it quickly. 
And so we want to make sure that we prepare these elevator pitches and we have them ready so that people can understand in a very short amount of time who you are, the value you bring, and so that they can walk away with that understanding. And to be able to sell ourselves, obviously, we need to know our strengths. We need to know our weaknesses. We know what our values are and we, what we are bringing to the table. So that whole self-awareness and introspection that we're doing throughout this course helps us land that job, promote ourselves in that career, gain those clients through persuasion and selling ourselves. And an additional point to keep in mind here is we want to show people don't tell. It's easy for everybody to say, I am amazing, I am ethical, I am prompt, I'm proactive. But what does that mean? Show them. If you cannot show them through actions, right, because you just met them, show them through stories. Talk about when you did things in the past and what the results were. And then when you get the job, when you're in the association, when you are networking, show through actions because that is always more believable. And of course, you need to be genuine. This needs to be authentic. People are not stupid. People will know when you are faking it. So show up, be genuine, be authentic and be curious about them. Ask questions to get to know them and do so with an open heart and passionately and genuinely. So in summary, there are three forms of persuasion. We have persuasion based on character, emotions and logic and character is the ethos, emotion uh, and logic are in addition to that credibility. When you try to persuade someone, understand that likability and timing among other factors are very important. Selling yourself means having a 30 second elevator pitch ready to go and knowing your strengths, of course, will help you sell yourself, quote unquote. And that means we're doing it positively and ethically. Until next time, this is the end of chapter five. Take care of yourself.